Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. For today's message, I'm going to be doing a Twin Flame Union Energy reading with a message from your Twin Flame to you. If there's a bit that really, really resonates, that's probably a little bit that came through exclusively for you and your Union. And on that note, we can begin the reading. And by the way, if you would like a personal channeled message from your Twin Flame or coaching all the way into your union, please check the description box below. And we can begin with the first card. I admire you. I care about you. I trust you. I respect you. And I love you unconditionally. You are my true love. In a state of peace and unconditional love, why would your twin flame deny you in love? Why would they possibly resist you? How could they with how you feel about them? It's not you alone. You don't feel that without them. You only feel this way about them because they exist and they're yours and they feel exactly the same way about you. The thinking woman. So really come to us understand all the constant miracles that you experience with your twin flame when you're choosing unconditional love. It could be a picture that they posted that makes sense and that they block you. And you had to create some 19th account that they couldn't find. But you know what these little miraculous moments feel like. They feel like synchronicities and union. And you can show them to your friends who understand this journey. Look, my twin flame put this photo up. Isn't this proof? But the signs and synchronicities aren't proof within themselves. They're just showing you that you're doing it right. But it's not the end. Ooh, sorry, a little wobble there. Now all these signs are just showing you the steps to achieve the result of union. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive connect with nature yeah this is not magical fairy dust what more is there to do but to acknowledge the power of what you hold and treat it as such acknowledge that love is powerful and accept when you have love you can be right in love nine of autumn Reward yourself for your hard work. Bring happily and successful, being happily and successfully self-employed. Cherishing your time alone. Yeah, you can simply be with your peace. Because when you know peace, you have everything. You don't have to be concerned with anything but this peace. And when anything arises that's out of all order, you can easily resolve it. And claim that space for peace. So your entire reality becomes one of love and peace. Very fertile soil for your union to grow from. I know that I need to make amends for my mistakes. I am contemplating how to do this. Because I want to show you how much you mean to me. And it's going to get easier and easier to do that because of the greater peace that's, that you're calling in. And not living in a reality of turmoil and upsets, but living in a reality of constant expansion. With the peace and the love expanding into ever new places in consciousness. Accept the gifts that you're being given. As you go deeper and deeper and deeper into peace, it doesn't 
matter whether a person or a place or a circumstance changes to be with you and your love. And if you base your relationship of pure, true, unconditional love, it's going to be real. It's going to have meaning. A journey has immense meaning in itself. Action. By you taking the inspired and guided action steps, your twin flame can take theirs as well. Maybe the action steps are just going within and putting love in every place that's asking for love. Now don't make your twin flame responsible for your feelings. They're not any more than you're responsible for theirs. You're choosing unconditional love, then your relationship is safe and it can grow. Just because your twin flame's over there, it doesn't mean it's not real. The love that you share is real. Your harmonious twin flame union is your love and it's here. It's here now. You do have a relationship in love and that love never leaves you. Even if they say something totally contradictory to that. Your heart doesn't need to break, but it may break open so that more love, expanded love, that you may have believed that was once lost, can arise again. It always shows up nicer, better and richer. Star mother, how can you... Mother yourself, or well, when you're mothering yourself and loving yourself and nurturing yourself, you don't need to ever worry about the loss of love because love can't leave. You have the power and you will not hold off the love because it's here now and it's in love that your relationships thrive without expectations, without holding on to resentments. There is a cost and that's just to love with all your heart and release everything that weighs you down and anything that doesn't uplift you sustainably. <coughs> Excuse me. And that takes freedom. Anything that offers you freedom can only be from the divine. Never from ego. The illusion of being trapped, so we've got the opposite of freedom here. Placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. Yeah, the truth is you were always free, you were never trapped. It's just an ego illusion that you weren't, like when union comes in or even before union comes in. You'll realise that you were never separate. The union always, always was. The love was always present. It never went anywhere. You were loved all along. I crave your sexual healing. I fantasise about pleasing you every day. I'm on fire waiting for you. It's not about waiting. But this peace that you're moving into is is no less important than the union with your twin flame here if union hasn't come in yet and you're being guided into greater peace this is what the divine is teaching you the divine is teaching you to value peace itself to value love itself not just love's gifts like saying to someone i don't love you Unless you're nice, that's conditional. No, it should be, I love you because I love you. Because that's how I was created. To love in my own unique way and in your own unique way. Happy family. And it's this unconditional love that brings in all these desires. 
The divine is teaching you that on this journey of union, to value love first. There is nothing more valuable than love. It brings your twin flame around you. They'll say, this is great, let's hang out, let's canoodle, let's do it. But don't forget to keep choosing love and keep choosing the peace that brings them around. Value, value the love itself and it can never be taken from you. You can safely put love first. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.